Hey everybody, welcome back to Appify Your Business. Today we're gonna cover another type of home screen that you can make within AppSheet. And this home screen is created on a detailed view from your, your data structure. In my previous video, I've covered how to make home screens with gallery view, where you basically define the records that would make up each view that you would show in the home screen. If you use this detailed view method, this takes a different approach in that it looks at each record from the perspective of the user so that you can show actions on that detail view as home screen icons that the user could then interact with and go to different parts of the application. So in this case here, I have some icons here where I could go to you know view one, go back to the home screen, go to view two, or you know, call a supervisor, edit my profile, et cetera. This is all configurable on your end, and we'll show you how to do this inside of AppSheet using a detail view. If you find this tip useful, don't forget to like the video below. So let's jump into it. All right, in this scenario with a detail type view home screen, the best practice in my mind is going to be to tie it to the user table, if you have a user's table. So uh, whereas before, when we created a gallery view or maybe a deck view type home screen, this would be view centric in that your data table would have the different views that you would want to include in your home screen and then display entries based off those records that show up in the table. When using a detail view, remember the detail view is a representation of a single record. In this situation, tying this to the user's table or any single record, you could do that as well. But if you tie it to a user's table, you get the added benefits of being able to dynamically show different actions with that view based off the user profile in the application itself. So for this example, we're just very simply have email and name here. And then we're gonna jump back to this home screen app. And this is this, this app I've built previously. Um, you can check out that video in the top right corner um, called home screen, but we're gonna just evolve this app and basically have it as an app that shows different examples of how to do different home screens, right? So in this one, we have our app for the gallery version of the app. And we're gonna now add that user table to our application. So after that's been added, now that we have the user table, we wanna actually just, we wanna create the view that's gonna show on the home screen here. And we're gonna call this home screen or home, it's called home detail view. Then we'll choose detail view here. And we'll give this a, a home icon as well. Maybe we'll do a little, little different one. What we're essentially doing when we have a detail view, we're using any actions that are related to that record or, or that table to be used as home screen icons, essentially. Really for our header columns in this detail view, what we would wanna do is basically just have the name potentially here and not really have an image or anything like that. And we'll make sure that we're actually pointing toward the user table. So we could basically just have uh, these two fields here at the top header of our app. And, and that's really, um, maybe we swap that around, put Rich there at the top, but um, we can have, this is the header. And then what we're going to do is build out and add actions to the table here to start populating our home screen. So the first one we could build, uh, the first home screen icon we can build is let's let's call it edit user profile we already have an edit button for the user profile table so what we can do is basically just change the appearance here to display prominently so any actions you're making they need to be displayed prominently so they show up on that uh, on that specific view so we can actually come here instead of having an edit button we'll just have a maybe we'll have a profile related icon or a user related icon, maybe. There we go. Um, and then we could use that for the home screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So now you can start to see that we're building icons now for the home screen. So another benefit too, to using the user table as your home screen 
is based off the user that's logged in, you can give them custom messages, custom alerts, easily on that same view if you need to. So let's go ahead and add another icon. So we have our ad, or we have our data table here, which is just basically allows us to add an entry here with the title, image, and status. And we should have some views already. So we have view one here. Um, so we can go ahead and make an action for our home screen that's going to go to that view one example. So we'll just say view one, and that's gonna be associated with the user table. And we're gonna to go to another view within this app and just use link to view, view one. And then under appearance, we'll choose a um, appropriate icon. So we don't have to actually bring in images now, we could just use the icon library. And then once again, we'll make sure we display prominently. And then we'll hit save on here. So now we have view one and we could click on view one and go to view one and back to the home screen, right? Or click on edit and go to edit or cancel out of that. So we'll keep building this out here. We'll add, um, let's add a direct to form view um, for the, the data table here. So I don't think we have a view yet. So let's make a, a form view for the data table. We could just add a new entry and that'll be a ref view. As with a lot of these, we will just be ref views because we're gonna be creating actions to take us to those views. So we'll just now create another action here. So we'll call this add new entry go to another view, link to view, add new entry. And then we'll display prominently and then we'll maybe have a plus button here. So maybe um, we'll just have a little plus icon there. So now we'll hit save and bam, now we have three items in our home screen. So you can see that we can start building out entry uh, items that the user can interact with. And it actually gives a for certain situations and certain apps that you build, this actually might be more user friendly because looking at the gallery view, it takes up a lot, a lot less space when using these smaller icons. And if you build, for example, an app directory, it, it gives a feel that is very familiar for your users and that it looks like a home screen on their phone, right? It's more intuitive in that sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and Add some more entries here just to round this out a little bit more. So I've added some more icons to my home screen and hopefully this gives now a better view of, of how compact you can make and add a lot of different features to the home screen. If you need to reorder these icons, you simply come to your, your action section here on the left side of the app editor and click this reorder icon. And you then you could drag and drop and change things around as you need. For any of these icons, if you only want them to show for specific individuals, this is where the behavior section is gonna come in for each action. And that you can look up, if you define uh, in your user table here, maybe a, a role-based action, you can then reference that role for that user and display that value accordingly. So. I'm gonna go real quick here and add, add a role as an example. I'm gonna to add to test. So we'll have one as an admin and one as a, a user as an example for the different roles. And so for these behaviors now, for each of these actions, I can make it so that certain actions only show based off my role. So for view one, for example, if we want to uh, make this only show when admins are logged in, I can simply go to behavior now, use the role column, and basically tell AppSheet to only show this action when role equals admin. So now if I hit save and I toggle between my two profiles, test and rich, you'll see that view one is here in rich, but if I'm in test, it's not. And then the next step we wanna consider is security from a sense, right? As I'm showing you here, it wouldn't be very if it wouldn't be good if I could just toggle between two different profiles while logged in as myself. I should only be able to see my profiles. And this is where security filters are going to be very easy to implement in this situation. So for the users table, what we want to do is under um, the table settings here, 
we want to go to security and for the security filter all we need to do is put email equals user email and that'll lock down this view to just the email address that i'm logged in as so i will not have the ability to go to different views at this point. And then you can see the admin role kind of right here. So you could basically, we can move this as well up to the top. I have all the information about my role in this app right here at the top. Now let's say I want to format the home screen a little bit. Maybe I want icons to show a certain color or the text here to maybe be a little smaller and not so big. So I'm gonna go here to my format rules for my app and start to create format rules for this. So first let's, we can make the text a little smaller on top, call it smaller headers. And because this is with the user's table, we'll choose that. We do not need a condition because we will always want this to apply. And then we're gonna choose our columns that we want to use here. So email name and role name. And then under text format, we'll just make this smaller. So it's a little bit less intrusive, or maybe we will just do it for the role and email and leave the name a little bit bigger. As far as icon colors go, we can also make different colors for icons. So here we'll call this green icons. Maybe we want all the view related. When you go to a particular view, we want those icons to be green. So we'll just choose view as the green icons. And then for the highlight color, uh, we'll choose green. Then you can see there the icons are updating. And then let's add some red icons in the spirit of the season. So now we have uh, an app that can highlight different sections or different icons to maybe categorize them by color if you wanted to or, or something to that effect. So the last thing I want to show here with this type of home screen is the ability to add spaces between your icons here. So if you wanted to create gaps between icons, you can do that as well. So with actions, you, we can just basically create a dummy action. And this dummy action, we'll just call spacer. And for the do this type, we're going to change it just to a grouped action with no entries. It's just gonna be an empty action that doesn't do anything. And under appearance, we're going to remove the um, icon. So it's, it's empty. So you can see that we have this spacer here, icon now showing on our home screen. So after we make this, then we could go back to our format rules and create a format rule for our spacer or spacers if we're gonna have multiple ones. And then to make the icon disappear, we can use the white icon color, and then that will make them disappear. So we now have a spacer icon in our app and if we go back to actions and reorder that, we can then place our spacer accordingly in different parts of the app. So maybe we want to have the call supervisor and email together and a spacer um, between the edit button, the email supervisor, or maybe we want a spacer between the add new entry. Maybe we want to put add new entry at the top there and have a space between the adding of new entry and showing the different views. So that, that just about covers all the different things that you can do with home screen, um, with the detail view being used as a home screen. And just remember, ultimately, this is a detail view that you're looking at. So you can add fields down below. You can add show columns down below. Um, you can add other information um, to present to those users when they log in. And as different users log in, so if I view this app as someone different, then I get a totally different layout uh, for that user. So let me know if you like these home screen tips and I could do more of these videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and, and thanks for watching and have a good one.